Hey guys. Um, so I missed Friday Reads and I have missed the the March 3 date for Booktube SFF Battles. So I'm going to tell you really quickly what I'm reading and then do the actual Booktube SFF Babbles prompt for March 3rd, so last week. Um, I am reading right now Nalo Hopkinson's uh, Brown Girl in the Ring. This is one of her earlier works, one she's most well known for, um, and I'm excited to read it. I've read a couple of her things now and have really liked them. Um, and then I am listening to A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab on audio. Um, my, <laughs> uh, my graphic novel for the moment is The Wicked and the Divine, Volume 2, Fandemonium. Um, so that's what I'm reading going into this week. Let me know what you're reading. Um, and now for Booktube SFF Babbles. So Booktube SFF Babbles is, of course, the, like, web prompt um, that is associated with the Booktube SFF Awards. It was kind of, I think, a fantastic addition to this year. Um, I'm really excited. I have to go back and watch so many of them. Um, so the prompt for March 3rd is, what is your reaction to the shortlist? Which nominations have you read already? What did you think of them? And which ones are you planning on reading? Um, so Actually, I am currently <laughs> reading two of them, um, but I've read quite a bit of what's on the short list. Um, going down the list, I have read both um, Uprooted and The Fifth Season from the Novels category. I've read Nimona, Descender, and Saga from the Graphic Works. I've read Carry On, which is the only young adult category book that I've read. Um, and I've read Binti by Nanetti Okorafor, which is best, nominated under Best Short Work. Um, that leaves me basically with very, very few things not already on my list or on my already read list. Um, and so I'm, I'm actually looking forward to quite a few of them. I was really pleased by some of what I saw this year. I really really loved the fifth season. I loved Binti. Um, I really, I was so excited to see Descender by Jeff Lemire on there. I've, if you've been watching for a while, you know I talk about this one all the time. I'm like, everybody read it, and now everybody will, hopefully. <laughs> um, and so there were, there were just a lot on the list that I was really pleased to see. Um, a lot of Sanderson, which I wasn't surprised about, He's nominated twice, once under, I think, Best YA and once under Best Novel. Um, that's fine. I'm probably, he's probably the one person on the list that I'm not going to read his stuff. Um, I just kind of find that he and I don't jive really well, um, which is fine. I get it. He's very, very well loved. He's just not for me. Um, but I have the books that I am going to be reading. I have... Um, like I said, The Wicked and Divine, which I'm almost done with. This is my my bookmark tab. I'll probably finish that tomorrow. Um, and then I have A Darker Shade of Magic on audio, so I'll be listening to that throughout the week um, while I get ready and come home and do chores and things. Um, I think that one will probably take me a little bit longer. I'm going to try going back and forth. I also I bought it a long time ago on... Kindle and I didn't realize. <laughs> um, but I think that'll be a nice change because I'm going to use the whisper sync and go back and forth and that updates your audio spot with your book spot and your book spot with your audio spot so that you don't have to go finding things. I'm going to explore that option as a way to kind of read A Darker Shade of Magic. Um, and then I, I'm just not the biggest... Um, I'm not the biggest YA reader, so um, I read Carry On before, just before the shortlist was released. I kind of figured everybody seems to really like this. I might as well do it. And so I read it because it was, well, I listened to it on audio because it was like the perfect length for a drive that I had to make. 
Um, and then I have Six of Crows here and Illumine. Both of these have been catching my eyes. This is the naked Illumine, by the way. The, the pretty orange covering is off to the side, although this is... I can't decide if I like this or if it's like a little too busy for me. Um, I was looking at both of them and thinking that I might read them um, for quite some time now. Something about the Six of Crows cover, I'm just like, it's like an upside down castle and a crow's wing and the pages are black. And every, every once in a while, I kind of turn into a sucker for book design. Um, and I've also heard really good things about Lee Bardugo. I think, I know she's really big in YA, but I've heard some good things, I think, independently about her stuff. Um, and then I... I just can't help it. It's like the bright orange and then people in the SF community are saying that they like it. Um, and so I, I picked, I picked up Illumine or I was, I was thinking about picking up Illumine and then of course it was on the short list. So I had an excuse to kind of indulge myself with it. Um, so that's, that's about all I have. I'm excited. I'm going to be reading the Mary Robinette Cole short story. I really like her stuff. Um, and I think that's about all that's on the list that I, I have left to read. Like I said, I'm not planning on reading the Sanderson stuff. I might read his short work, which is Perfect State, um, depending on how big it is. Um, I, I don't know yet. I have to look into that one to see if it's tied into some of his other stories, like if it's a, a companion story. Um, if it's a companion story, I think I'll probably skip it just because I, I don't want to read a whole ton of stuff. Um, my TBR over there that's hiding in the corner is huge. Um, so that's that's my book to SFF Babbles. I know it's up late. I'm sorry. I will have the next one up on time on the 10th. Um, you should check out, there's a really interesting discussion right now going on about the Carry On book, uh, the Rainbow Rowell book, Carry On, um, that I've been really digging. I'm going to link to the it's on, that's on Goodreads, and I will link to the Goodreads page down below. Um, but yeah, I hope you're having a fantastic reading week. If you have done your own booktube SFF Babbles, please link it down below so that I can watch. Um, leave your comments and thoughts. I'm really excited that we're kind of having an, an interesting and prompted discussion in the community right now. Um, I hope you have a fantastic reading week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.